you know, back in the day, Sonic used to be one of the biggest gaming franchises that there was. Even if you didn't play video games, you know who Sonic was. I mean, at times, he even outdid, like, sort of Mario and Nintendo as a whole. Especially in the commercial department. I mean, I don't know what he's doing. I don't know why he's on a car. I don't understand the language, but I already know I'm gonna buy this. But after the creation of Sonic 3 and Knuckles, because of the commercial flop of the Sega Saturn, no mainline Sonic games were made for quite a long time. What resulted was many spin-off games that were not good, like most of them were really, really bad. And right now, we're going to be playing two of these games, and the first one is going to be Knuckles Chaotix. Now, you may not actually recognize the word Chaotix, and that is because some of the members of the Knuckles Chaotix scheme was featured in another game that wasn't a spin-off. Known as Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes! Yes, they had an entire team themselves. Except for Mighty the Armadillo, he wasn't in it. But he's gonna be in Sonic Mania Plus. I don't know why though, he's literally Sonic. There's no difference. Well, you don't even know what the game is yet, do you? Well, Knuckles Chaotix was a spin off Sonic game made for the 32X and an add on for the Sega Genesis. And, like, nobody bought it. So that's a bad sign for me, because I have to play games on the said console. Strangely, this game is considered to be the last in the line of classic Sonic-style games of its era, so you would think that this game would be considered a little better by people. Because, you know, it's everybody likes it's classic Sonic. I wonder what semi-classic Sonic fan thinks of it. Well, you know what? Let's go play it. Alright, nice intro. What? Why? Oh, 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 the Metal Sonic? Yeah, mm hmm So, Giant City appears. Metal Sonic flies into us. Green Archway. Chaotix. Featuring Metal Sonic and Kid now. Welcome to the next level of the 32X world. Yeah. That makes sense to me. I don't see a problem with you. You know that? <laughs> Anyways. I will be playing Scenario Quest because th that's the main story, and also I will be playing it on an emulator with an Xbox One controller. And yeah, please excuse the gameplay, it's gonna look a little choppy because of the way I recorded it. Alright, I'll get a new one. Mm hmm. So, anyways, the game starts off with Knuckles running around with a ring for uh, reasons, and comes across Robotnik. Yes, we'll be calling him Robotnik. Tampering with some weird machine with a lizard dude in it. And then Robotnik Naruto's his way out of there. It opens up and then... Wham! Who got the ringy thing? Maybe saying, Kevin, what's so strange about the ringy thing? Well, to talk about that, we first have to talk about the cool mechanics of Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. When Sonic the Hedgehog, the main thing about it, you go fast. When you're going fast, there might be some obstacles. Might be something you have to look out for, but... Generally, it's pretty fair. You know, if something's coming at you, you know oh, that's your fault that you messed up. Now imagine attaching a slow turtle to you. Oh no! It's slow. It's caught on things. Generally, it's just annoying because it's bad. Doesn't that sound like a bad thing to add to your game? You really want that in there? And that's Knuckles Chaotix. So then you start playing the game. I mean, after Middle Sonic straight up yeets Robotnik out of there, and you go into this tutorial section. It took me about five minutes to get out of this because every time I skip button, it reset. So that's good game design. After doing that, we can finally actually play the game. You can see that a new f lizard friend named Nespio is along for the journey and mimics all your movements. And if you sit still, he does that. It's pretty cool. Unfortunately, it has the mechanics that what I said. Look here, why? I got caught right on this thing and I have to sit there and wait as I charge up my thing. That's not fun. Although I do like that you can carry your friends like Fortnite. And just randomly, there are strange sections with these gates that you have to stand on. Just look how long this takes me to get him into the position. You gotta throw him and then you, and you take him. And then once you get to the end of the level, it just transports you to another place like nose bending. Sign the with robot and the song. No, no, who needs that when you can just tell it? Like, why? 
And then there's a section with you falling endlessly for about two minutes until you get to the end. Again, why? It's still more getting stuck on these things. It's literally the same as before. I'm only 15 minutes in and I want to quit already. Okay, maybe we should just focus on the good parts. I do like that you can play as Knuckles because he's rougher than the rest of them. And it also seems that like everybody likes the power-ups because the blue rainy thing you power up is featured in Sonic Mania. Plus, no, it's just featured in Sonic Mania. But you want to know what else is featured in Sonic Mania? Plus, Mighty the Armadillo, he's back. Uh, what else? Um, like the special stages, they remind me of playing cool math games and playing Run. Yeah, only real OGs remember Run. Once you get out of the Iron Maiden, I mean, on a lot of levels, you get transported to this weird robotic circus world. So once you travel to the latest, oh, 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 oh yes, thank you, Sega. Very cool. You saw that correctly. We can choose what part we get in a claw mini game, and there are not one, but two bad ones. And I got one of the bad ones. The one I got here is a freaking bomb and explodes when it gets hit. Although I got lucky because the other one is large weight. Called heavy, I'm pretty sure. It slows you down in a Sonic game. Da slow in the Sonic. Why is this in the Why Sonic? Honestly, I only played one more level of this game before I decided to stop. Because I really do not like this game. On the scale of Kevin liking this game or not, I give it a 3 out of 10. Do not recommend you buying this game. Maybe emulate it if you really want to play it. But now we will move on to the next game in our series of subpar spin off Sonic games and see if it's a good game or not. Trust me, this one's not good. Want to know the name of the game? Why? 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 This game is a godforsaken game. Why? Since this game is bad, huh? you really want to know? Well, well the, the, the number one, okay? Music. What is this? Listen. Oh, you don't like that? How about this? Sonic is known for having cool heavy metal being hip rock music and all that cool jazz like Escape from the City. Why is this music playing? I just don't understand. What else is wrong with this game? Gameplay. Okay, just just look. Okay. So so it's me and I'm running into all these walls and now and now look at this level. It I'm, I'm oh I'm still bouncing. Oh 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 boy I love games. Oh why is the water nothing? Look, look at this, just zoom in, enhance, zoom in, enhance. You wanna know what that is? It looks like the inside of your school Sega, cause why'd you make this game? Seriously, I, I won't. <laughs> but there was one more thing that this game is very famous for, one that most people know this game about. You know it? You love it. Yeah, it's the Tales Doll. In the day, many famous YouTubers like Life Before and Six, XP4 and 6 and Lizboot, they made videos about it. All just about this one character. There was even a creepypasta about it. And in this video, I'll perform the steps to the creepypasta and see if I actually have the curse. Don't worry though, I know how to survive it. Watch my YouTube video. 
Alright, here I have the pamphlet to read it. Okay. It says here that the first step to initiating the curse, the easiest way is 100% thing. Sonic R. Well, I guess we're not doing the curse. Yeah, you know what? I, 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 I do everything. But I hate this game so much. It's, this is honestly one of the worst games I've ever played. Everything about it just makes me want death. Every time somebody plays this game, God's hand just gets a little bit closer to death. It's a little bit. Alright, thank you for watching my video. I understand, wasn't that good? Pretty lackluster. I didn't spend that much time making everything good. Perhaps the next one will be better. And trust me, you won't have to wait that long. Because I'm going to tell you what the new schedule is. So, listen closely. It's a little complicated. So, every two weeks, there will be at least one video. I'm not saying what time the video will be in two weeks. Because I don't know. I'll tell you the next one I make. Probably become scheduled. And every one week, there will be a smaller video of less quality. Might just be a gaming video. Might just be a shorter one of these versions. Quickie. Yeah. That's a new schedule. Hope you enjoyed the video. Understand if you don't. And I'll see you in the next one. Hi, this is Ed and Kevin. And I realized that there's a bunch of audio problems. Things were either too loud or too quiet. Sorry about that. Premiere Pro only lets you change so much. And the schedule to make it really basic because that was really complicated. There will be two big videos a month. I'm not saying when they'll come out. And there will be at least four small videos a month. That's just at least. You might get even more content if you're lucky, little boys. And also, uh, thank you for watching the video. I don't know. Why are you still here? It's been like... I don't subscribe. Hmm. Okay. Has it been 10 minutes yet? I think it's already been... I think the 10 minute mark passed like 2 minutes ago. Okay.